Luke Taylor here with your Whale Sports video update. And can you believe it? The sun is shining. I got my short sleeve shirt on. And this must be what Noah felt like when he stepped off the ark. Okay, okay, hyperbole never hurt anybody, but neither did a little community involvement. And despite the cold, damp, unseasonable weather we've had lately, the Anacortes baseball squad still hosted their annual Anacortes Youth Baseball Camp. I made my way down to the fields yesterday to check out the youngsters. I also got in a few words with Anacortes High School head coach, Pat Swap. He talked about the outlook for the season. Check it out. Roll tape. About 20 Anacortes youngsters made their way to Marguerite and Don Daniels Field this week to participate in the Anacortes Youth Baseball Camp. For $50, campers got a t-shirt and a three-day clinic hosted by Anacortes head coach, Pat Swap. We got a little uh, parts and rec clinic where we're doing here for elementary age kids and uh, trying to get them out here and involved as much as possible. It's good for our high school kids too to do this and then if it was 70 degrees and sunny this might seem like a more appealing option to, uh, to kids but right now the kids that are out here really want to be out here. Most of the high school players in attendance including junior third baseman Ferris Deemer would rather be playing baseball something the weather's prevented for the past week. We want to play games actually it's been like a week or two since we've even played a game so if we can start playing games again that's what I'm looking forward to. The Hawks are 4-1 and one on the year but they've postponed five games, including three during a recent trip to California. Coach Swap says there's nothing they can do about the weather. And we've played a fairly tough schedule with uh, Burlington, Meridian, Ferndale, and some of the games we had that were rained out down in California would have been three tough games. So I, I would have, at the start of the year, being four and one at this point, I would have thought we'd have more games in, but I'm happy with four and one. Um, it's just going to be this, this mad rush here after spring break to get a bunch of games in. Demert says if that mad rush culminates in some wins, that's all right by him. The ultimate goal for me would be to win state, but that's pretty I mean, that's pretty high up there. But I think we can pretty good. I think we have a chance at it. But just going to state would be a pretty good goal or a pretty good thing. Coach Swap says despite all the postponements and rainouts, he still likes his team's chances. It's going to be interesting for some teams. It's, it's easy to lose momentum during spring break, and we need to kind of balance keeping momentum going with giving guys some time off, and it's going to be interesting. I think we're going to be better equipped than a lot of teams in our league. Now, Anacortes finally gets a game in. They'll take on Eastside Catholic today at Mary Moore Park near Seattle. That's about the only place dry enough to get a game in right now, believe it or not. They'll return home Tuesday. Hopefully, the fields will be dried out by then. They'll take on Cedar Woolley. That'll be a Whale Sports broadcast. And we'll preview that as, as the weekend grows near, as we get closer to that date. As always, you guys can always follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. Or for more Whale Sports broadcast information, because we got soccer and softball thrown in there as well, visit the Whale website, 13. 40thewhale.com. More whale sports at the Whale Sports blog, KWLE the whale.blogspot.com. And as for me, I need to go work on my tan because I'm not sure if you guys can see the reflection there. I think you can tell that's that's just not very tan at all. So I'm going to go work on that for about the first time this spring. Uh, so until next time, with your whale sports video update, I'm Luke Taylor.